plant a flag on Eve. I know somebody who wants to see me do that. But, uh, yeah, I think this station around Gilly is what's interesting me. And that's because we've got one person who wants to land in Gilly and fly by Gilly. And I, the uh, orbit around Gilly is this Hallery. So we've got two tourists who want to head to, uh, to Gilly. So let's try and get their part done. So, uh, well, why don't we unlock this, uh, this command pod? It's probably not the best way to carry them, though. Boo! <laughs> well, maybe, maybe this is... Now, we're gonna, we're gonna have to land some... The, 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 the tourist on Gilly, so we're gonna have to start with a lander of some kind. And so, here's the lander can. So, we'll put a tourist in here. I like that better. And then we'll also have the rest of it so that the other tourists can orbit while this one lands. <laughs> Listen, I'm not at the tech level where I can uh, tackle landing on Eve and bringing them back. If it was a contract just to land on Gilly and leave them there, that's fine. No, we have to, uh, we, we can't do the mark. Uh, I, I was thinking about that, but we have to land one of them. So, I'm not going to use that pod. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, I need to figure out whether this has enough Delta V or not. To land on Gilly. Oh yeah, this thing's got 1136 Delta V. I think that's enough. I guess maybe we can land both of them. I guess that's not too bad. I mean, if this thing's got that much Delta V. Okay. Um, well, Bo, but it said station. Yeah. That's why. Right, right, right. Station. That's why I'm not doing this. We need a station for five Kerbals. So, do we have... we have a hitchhiker storage container. So that's gonna have to go at the bottom there. I think that'll do. Real station this time. Well, yeah, sort of. But we have to bring our tourists back, so... So we'll have a real station, but we're gonna bring the station back? Is that a thing we should do? Okay, so, the problem is we still don't have the large docking ports, the senior docking ports. That's why I haven't been building a big station yet. But... Hold on, I need to slip in uh, an adapter, right. There, that looks better. But we can sort of make a node of some kind. Let me see, how much fuel do I need here? Uh, let's say we use... these radial engines. Well... I guess that would make it easier. So if we wanted to build a real station... That could be a module of some kind. Okay, so this has 1,697 Delta V like this. We should probably slip a control. Uh, let's go for a service bay, then. That makes sense. And we need another controller. No, you did not attach properly, did you? There we go. We don't have any... we don't have a 1.25 meter battery, that's not good. Where is the center mass for this thing? Probably low, no? Well, that's with the lander. Really don't like the RCS port right on the hatch, but I guess that's okay.
Okay, well, I definitely don't want to rescue the tourist. Let's hope we don't have to go to that length. Now, transfer stage. Okay, that's 22 tons. That's above the launch capacity of our launcher. Let me just calculate how much Delta V the transfer stage has. 1,570. Do we need to bring them back? Yeah, we do. They, it says, uh, what you call it, uh, in the contracts, ferry five tourists safely to their destinations and back. So yeah, we do have to bring them back. Besides, I won't be able to complete the contract if I leave them there. Uh, they have other places to go. This, this one wants to land on Mimbus too. We are making a station for Gilly that will... Will it be able to come? I guess, yeah, we got to try and bring it back to Kerbin using this stage here. Yep, uh, that's what we're trying to do, but a little bit short on fuel here. Okay, park them on Eve forever, no. Could increase the liftoff mass of the launcher to 480 tons. Uh, yeah, because of the engines. Yeah, we could carry boosters too. Um, hold on, let's let's save this before something horrible happens. So we're gonna call this Gilly Station. So we've got 1,500 or so there, which is enough for a transfer to Gilly uh, to. Eve, but I'm worried that we won't be able to head out to Gilly with that. They might end up being stranded. They might end up being stranded like this around Gilly, which is not a bad thing. We'll just have to send another mission to refuel this in order to bring it back. But, but let's see. Let's see how the situation with our launcher is. So the unflippable, of course. Martian confirmed. Watch the... Don't, well, read the book first, then watch the trailer, please. I'm serious. I've, I've read the book. Please read the book first. Do not let... Do, do not let anybody show you the trailer until you've read the book. So the question is whether I can sneak some boosters on here or increase the fuel load. This is the empty. Oh, shoot. I have to fill it up first. I really need to save the subassembly with the fuel loaded in. That would be helpful. Trouble is, with this launcher... Well, yeah, I guess it's alright. So, four, 480 you think, huh, Mitko? Well, we can do that easily enough. We can do that. I mean, that's not 480, but at least it'll give us give us a little bit more margin. Uh, we could probably actually go for the nine-ton tank. Didn't seem like it was prone to tip over, at least. Oh, does this version not have the Verners? That's funny. I thought I'd put the Verners on, but oh well. Put the smallest 2.5 meter tanks where there are no mainsails. Oh! That's not a bad idea. My reserve tank has got to be impossible to get to though. I guess we'll just have to use those as reserve tanks. Yep. Okay, those are the reserve tanks. Hopefully they're not going to change the center of mass too much. Well, they probably will, but we'll leave that be for now. For, yeah, okay. Well, it's going to be a slow takeoff. 
Just did the math on that. Okay, so there's Gilly Station on the unflippable. Let's hope it remains true to its name. Yeah, we worked on this over the weekend. The launcher, it's a recoverable launcher. And I think this payload might be above its capacity, but we're gonna find out. Uh, let's time for EVE transfer now. Too bad we can't action group the tanks. Very, very good point. Yeah, I would love to action group the tanks. That is... That's a big thing. Wow. Well, how much time do we have on these contracts? Well, I guess it doesn't matter now. Let's just go for it. Do I use the stage recovery mod? Not here. I've used it in other things in my YouTube videos. Uh, though, more often for the YouTube videos, I use FMRS. There's a mod for action grouping tank lock. Well, again, this is a fully stocked thing that we're doing right now, guys. But, uh, yeah. Um, what is that? Is that Clockheed Martin stuff? I think I saw that. I've seen that before. Uh, what's the mass of the payload plus the fairings? Well, it's... Just the payload and fairings? We'll go back and check. Last stop before EVE landing and with skippers you won't be leaving. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, leaving EVE is the tough part. Landing on EVE is a breeze by comparison. Well, it's a breeze compared to anywhere else landing on it. Kerbal Engineer Redux says zero thrust weight ratio and zero meters per second with a full tank. You have an engine there? Okay, so let's take off the rest of the stack. Don't miss my staging, please. Uh, 27.5 tons, Miko. It's 27.5 tons. Now, my rule of thumb is that a launcher ought, uh, a reusable launcher, ought to be able to lift 8% of its mass. Whoops, almost let my calculator slip. So let's say we calculate that. Uh, that's the wrong way around. I mean, I would like this thing to be able to carry 38 tons. So this isn't a very efficient, by my standards, launcher. Did I load my passages? Not yet. I'm still contemplating this design. I think we can get them to Gilly. I don't think we're going to be able to bring the thing back just yet. Yeah, we have to get the correct passengers. 38. Yeah. So, I mean, clearly I would like this to be a better launcher. It's just not there right now. Okay, um... Yeah, well I guess we can do this part. So, the the Kerbal that wants to land on Gilly. Where are you? Oh no! Ah... Uh, Hold on. We lost we lost the tourists. The tourist contract failed. We ran out of time. Let's see if we can get another tourist contract. So failed. How much did that cost us? Oh not much. Well, hopefully not much, I don't think. Probably a little bit of reputation. Yeah. Minus twenty seven reputation. Let's see, uh, tourists, tourists. You only got a VIP. Okay, three tourists. This is, this is all dual system stuff. 40 years. Okay. Oh! The warp was too long, yeah. Well, we can rescue a Kerbal from the orbit of Gilly. Our little Kerbal pod is going to attempt to return, I think. Because it's not going to land on Gilly anymore, right? So we don't need to land on Gilly. We just need to rescue the Kerbal. I think 15 should do. And uh, we... I think we're okay for just a single parachute. 
Maybe. Let me let me just double check the. Yeah. Let me check the delta V on this. It's now 1.5 tons. Maybe we should put some more fuel on. Well, heck, maybe we should just. Yeah. Let let me let me let me make it a little bit more robust. It won't hurt. Oscar B. And uh, let's put two parachutes instead of just one. Take off the legs. Well, we might want... Yeah, I think I want the... Depending on where we're landing, I don't want to take off the legs, actually. They don't have very much mass. Yeah, I want to land uh, safely on Kerbin. And there's a chance of a heavier impact. Uh, especially if it's a slope. Is there a perfect payload to launch vehicle ratio? Um, uh, there's no perfect. I. Uh oh, I think Siri just detected what I said. Um, um, but I prefer 12% or more for uh, uh, for a launcher that you got dump, and 8% or more for one that you're going to reuse. That's just my preference. But that those were numbers based on 0 0.90. I don't think I've developed new numbers for 1.0.2. Those were old numbers. Now, can we dump some mass here? Well, we don't need... We don't need to ron have rendezvous fuel now. I think I can dump the monopropellant and... that. And we'll just leave the station like this. And we'll leave the station around Gilly. Do I need a heat shield? I don't know. I don't think I need a heat shield. What do you guys think? Do we need a heat shield? Yeah, I don't think heating is that aggressive. You're right. But do we want to risk it? Our poor Kerbal? I don't like risking stuff with Kerbals. Can we drop this to 0.1 tons? Well, that's 0.1 tons. May need a better engine as heat shield. Well, better engine means heavier engine. And this isn't a better engine, actually. Uh, well, I mean, maybe as a heat shield, but... Um, 300 vacuum ISP. Actually, the Ant has better vacuum ISP. 315. And we're going to be around Gilly, so we don't need thrust. Um, what's the pod's max temp? Max temperature on the pod's 2000. Max temperature on the Spark or the Terrier, they're all 2000. I should unlock the Hex. Yeah, I think what I need to do is I need to replace the Octo with a Hex. Uh-oh, this is going to break the whole thing, isn't it? Because that's the core part. Oh well. So that we can have retrograde hold. Because the Octo doesn't have that. Uh, as far as the batteries, we could sort of tuck them in more. Do you think that will dissuade the, the fiery gods, as it were? May need a service bay. No, we're adding mass. We're, we're adding a lot of mass to this thing. Yeah, I've already uh, removed more. Uh, is that seventy-five percent? Well, uh, fifty is seventy-five percent, uh, but uh, I can't get to fifty. It's either forty or sixty. So, close enough. Yeah, yeah. I don't want the other part as root part. I want to control from this. Solar panels. We've got solar panels here, but we do need them here, you're right. Um, let's just get one set. Hmm, okay, calculating delta V again. Because we're now at two tons. We've... <laughs> what, what have we done? We've, we've made this a heavy monster instead of a lightweight, nimble... craft. It's gotten supersized. It 
It's only got 818. It's only got 818 Delta V. That's not enough. Now we have to put more fuel. You say dump the heat shield. Well, then let's reconfigure the position of the solar panels first. Two tons again, but that's mostly fuel now. Not mostly. It's just the additional amount is fuel. Oh, why am I calculating 290? I should be calculating 315 for the ISP. Okay, 1,100. Still don't know if that's enough to bring the Kerbal back all the way to Kerbin. Take off the RCS? We, we need to maneuver to the Kerbal, though. But I guess we can. It's just really annoying. Okay, yeah, take off the RCS. Which means we don't need mod propellant. And the shielded solar panel? I like the shielded solar panels, right? Uh, wait, uh... How much do they weigh? Not that much. One thousand three hundred and forty five meters per second right here. I think I'll have to go with that. We'll go with that and see. But with my luck we might have to rescue the rescue. You know how that goes. Okay. You never use RCS to rendezvous? I you know, I like to get the pod like two meters away from the Kerbal. Use the unshielded. We don't need them after entering Kerbin atmosphere. Unshielded the the solar panels? Uh, we've got a long trip ahead of us. Let's, uh, let's think about the fact that I'm going to be air breaking around EVE, for instance. You mean pack, keep it packed and then return with it and then lose it in Kerbin's atmosphere? Is that, is there really much of a benefit? Uh, these, what, what, uh, if we switch from the shielded ones to the unshielded ones, it's 0. 0.0075 tons. You can dock without RCS. Well, fine. <laughs> fine, fine, fine. You can do it. Great. Uh, science. Good points. Let's check if we have some more science to do around Gilly. Um, atmospheric pressure scan. We've done mystery goo. We've done temperature scan. We've done. Uh, the only thing else is a seismometer, so no. We'll just do thermometer barometer, of course. All right. All right, let's go. All right, can we recover this launcher? That's that's one question in my mind. Here we go. Uh, it's wiggling. I don't think I strutted it enough. Hold on. I'm gonna take SAS off this job. Taking manual control here. Well, I call this the unflippable. I didn't say didn't wiggle. That's more dependent on the payload. Well, okay so far. Okay, looking at chat briefly. Try building a Dyson Sphere. Uh, nope. <laughs> well, that doesn't actually require getting closer to the sun, does it? You want the Dyson Sphere to be built at, uh, at a, in the habitable zone orbit, right? Uh, generally somewhere between Venus and Mars. 
or in this case, Eve and Duna. Wiggling may be caused by clipping. I don't know, we didn't do any serious clipping, did we? Thankfully, the fact that we've got the control surfaces that basically force it to prograde means I don't have to do much control. You can see roll, yaw, and pitch. I'm not doing much here. Yeah, well, that's the aerodynamics for... Uh, it's the surfaces, especially the wing straight. I love... I love the straights in particular. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh, hold on. I've got lateral motion of unpleasant sorts. Oh boy. Uh, okay, and SAS just hurt more than helped. Uh, okay, hold on. I'm gonna try and counter the motion. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, oh crap, that's what I was worried about. The payload is swinging back and forth in the fairing. I'm gonna drop the fairing. We did not strut the payload enough. Come on, SAS, don't mess with me. Oh, we've got struts. I mean, it's not like we don't have struts. We, we've got struts on the decoupler. Just not enough. Um, come on. Do we have to be zoomed out that much? We're alright. Well, I don't know about recovering the launcher, but we're alright otherwise. No, it's not a Soyuz. Uh, if anything, it's sort of more like a Proton. Soyuz would have four boosters that separate. Proton, the first stage, even though it looks like it has six boosters, it doesn't. Those six outer pods don't separate. They're only there because uh, they have to fit them on the transportation system. So they attach them and then they just stay attached. They're not actually separable boosters. Any plans on streaming Realism Overhaul? Uh, I, I had planned to, but I, I discovered that everything takes a long time and also the, the installs are prone to crashing. I don't want to have half the stream being restarting the program. So I'm gonna have to come up with a more streamlined... I, I did come up with a more streamlined install for my Mars missions, but then the burns took forever. So I'm going to have to think about exactly how I go about that to keep it engaging because even I, well, I in particular get antsy when I have viewers and I'm waiting for a very long burn. We should be close to orbit now, right? <laughs> I think I overdid it. Oh yeah, I just kept going and overdid it. Now here's the problem. I definitely didn't try to recover this booster, the, the launch stage, from this height. And I get the strong feeling that when we do such a thing, it is going to burn up because it was pretty close to burning up when we tried to bring it down previously. Okay, I think we're good to separate our main mission. It'll be fully in orbit. Don't worry, we're not at the reserve tanks yet. We need to worry about our main mission first. Okay. Oh, it's because of this decoupler. Right. It's wiggling because I put the small decoupler there. That was a stupid thing. I did it to save mass, of course. Okay. That's what you meant. Uh, whoever said, who was it who said uh, strut near the decoupler? Yeah. Yeah, Bl uh, Blackhawk. Okay, this thing doesn't have much reaction wheel power. It's only got the two probe cores. I didn't add another reaction wheel to it. It's got no RCS. But anyway, um, 
Did I actually group the panels to lights? No. I also didn't add lights. Well, let's get a set out. Broken! Wow. I didn't realize they could get broken in the... in the things. In the cases. Just that one. Just this one is broken. That's new. Okay, back to the launch vehicle. We've got a lot of fuel. So it actually worked out quite nicely. We just needed to get some struts there. Uh, you got the version with the clipper and you trimmed out what you didn't want. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well... I'm notoriously bad about figuring out what I want from the really big part packs like, you know, B9. I always, I always have trouble deciding what to get rid of. Payload moves about, it could break things. <laughs> Looks like it. Okay, so... I think what I want to do is I want to bring the orbit down before actually making a landing. So I'm going to go around to periapsis like this. I'm going to bring the apoapsis down a bit first. Okay, that's good enough. Now we'll descend. It wasn't optimal. Well, it was pretty close to optimal, honestly. It was just a little bit of wiggling on off to the side to side. Yeah, but it could probably carry more payload. Uh, we should upgrade it to uh, 24 tons without the fairings. Probably 30 tons with the fairings for now. Ah, look at that side on, it's easier to click the APPE thing. Okay. I see. Oh, uh, okay, well, it still wanted me to think. There we go. But actually, oh, side on. Okay, don't get distracted. And let's go for 28, maybe? No, actually, we're, we've got a little periapsis here. Maybe just 30 will be fine. Probably still landing in the water, but that worked. Oh, we are pretty low. Hmm. Let's go for that. Okay, launch vehicle retrieval time. We are way early on hitting the atmosphere. We might land short. We'll find out. We've got a bit of rotation and it looks like rolls maxed out. Okay, let me try using the Verners, but I don't think that's going to help. It's actually a slower roll than it seems. Are the Verners even doing anything? Well, I don't think they'd be very helpful in this situation anyway. Roll isn't really their thing. Anyway, we had roll before, didn't we? Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to be landing long. We're definitely landing short, so I don't think air brakes is going to be a thing until the end. It, oh, yeah, good question. Is it just SAS? I think something might be backwards. If, oh well, you're right. You're right. And now I say this is gonna want to spin me the other way. Huh? What you doing, SAS? Looks like I can't use SAS for this launcher, like ever. Is that a thing? Okay, this is the wrong music. No, no. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Oh, wait, is this the nominal stuff? Uh, we, we do know that there is nominal things that blow up on this, right? Let me just check. No, that, those were winglets. That's not nominal.
Oh yeah, wings are reversed, so SAS was confused. Well, I'm not, I don't think we got reversed to winglets. I just, uh, I guess I'll just have to descend without SAS. But I don't like them overheating though. The winglets really were for ascent, not descent. They were supposed to uh, keep the thing from flipping going up. I think somebody suggested even decoupling them on the way down. So I guess them blowing up isn't too bad. The winglets, you'll see. We had winglets. We don't have them anymore. Okay, I think we can do brakes now, right? I think now brakes are a thing. Okay, just barely there. Alright, serious G-forces. And now parachute deployment 1. Parachute deployment 2. Gear down. Uh, gear in water seems to. I mean... It extends... Yeah, it extends your base, I guess. It's a weird factor of how things are calculated. It also prevents you from tipping over, sort of. At least I feel it does. Okay, no, 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 don't do that. Okay. Looks stable. Alright, I think that's that's the tense part satisfied. Let's take it from the top again. Alright, so we got that back. So another successful return of the unflippable. And let's see about this whole ghillie transfer thing. Well, Eve transfer. Let me try and hit at the descending node there. That's that that will save some trouble. Okay, I think that'll do for now. Uh, I'll do the burn and make the adjustments. At least we have an encounter, unlike with Drez, which I totally botched. So I'm gonna do this burn and then we gotta pick this up on Saturday. I also intend to show you my cinematic installation on Saturday, which has numerous mods in, as well as KOS. So I'm gonna try and do automated launches uh, in the stock system. And so we'll see some KOS stuff with some interesting cinematic effects, better visuals. Clouds! We will have clouds, but only after we complete this mission and see what else might be pending in career mode. It's just the launch. Um, still working on making the launches good, smooth. KOS, I'm still a novice at, but figure I need the practice, so it'll give me an opportunity. Hello, welcome back, Star Slinger. Unfortunately, I'm just about done. <laughs> and that's because uh, I'm running out of time because I have other things to do, unfortunately. But uh, we've got this on transfer to... Well, we're not quite there yet. On transfer to Eve. And I'll have to pick this up on Saturday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time. That's 8 p.m. GMT. With that... I think I'll see you guys next time on Saturday. Okay, so have a good evening or whatever time zone you happen to be.